When do you need brain imaging for your headache symptoms? Many people assume that severe headaches always require brain imaging. However, this isn't always the case. Let's explore when brain imaging may be helpful for diagnosing headache disorders and what factors influence your healthcare provider's decision to order tests. Headache disorders fall into two categories, primary and secondary headaches. Primary headaches refer to headache disorders that are not caused by another health condition. These include migraine, tension type headache, and cluster headache, among others. Secondary headaches are caused by underlying issues such as a brain tumor, aneurysm, sinusitis, meningitis, concussion, or high pressure in the brain. Certain medications can also trigger secondary headaches. Your healthcare provider will assess your symptoms and medical history, looking for red flags that may suggest a secondary headache. These red flags could indicate the need for further testing, such as brain imaging. If the symptoms align with a primary headache disorder, imaging is typically not necessary. Brain imaging may be recommended if your headache symptoms include any of the following. Swelling of the optic nerve, abnormal reflexes, weakness on one side of the face or body, unsteady gait, double vision, vision loss, abnormalities of the pupils, confusion. Additionally, Imaging may be necessary if you experience head pain under certain conditions, such as a new headache in someone with a history of cancer, headaches in people who are immunosuppressed, headaches that are becoming worse, new headaches in people over age 50, headaches that do not get better with prescription medicine, persistent headaches after a head injury, headaches accompanied by persistent fever. In some cases, healthcare providers can rule out the need for brain imaging. These include individuals with a clear diagnosis of migraine, no abnormal exam findings, and no significant change in headache patterns, people with mild, intermittent headaches that remain unchanged and have no red flags, those who've already had a normal MRI and are experiencing stable migraine symptoms with no new red flags. Bottom line, if you have migraine, brain imaging, such as CT or MRI, is typically not necessary. While painful and debilitating, migraine is not caused by another underlying health condition. However, if your headaches are new, becoming more frequent or severe, or if there is a noticeable change in your headache pattern, it's important to consult your healthcare provider. If you're uncertain about whether your symptoms warrant brain imaging, always consult your healthcare provider. They'll guide you toward the appropriate diagnosis and care. Learn more at AmericanMigraineFoundation.org.